Let me start with a disclaimer. And this is the only time I'm going to give this disclaimer, so pay close attention. These videos are going to be extremely nerdy. And I'm not going to apologize for that, I'm just going to let you know. Um, keep that in mind as we continue. Okay, let's start with keyboard shortcuts. So first of all, uh, one of the most important things that I talk to, you got to remember, I teach middle school, and so I, I talk to my students a lot. When we use computers, they're just terribly inefficient. Um, they're slow typists. They don't use keyboard shortcuts at all. Um, they, they, they don't use any of the tools that, that the computer provides to make their work easier. And so one of the big things that I talk to them about is about hand placement on the keyboard. And I'm not just talking about home row, although that is something that um, I do stress with them. One of the big things I'm talking about is my left thumb and putting that left thumb right near the command key. So it's always hovering over that command key on the, on the, on the keyboard. Um, the reason is because keyboard shortcuts are similar throughout almost every application that you're going to use. Command N, for example is going to create a new something in almost every application you use. Okay, In Twitter, it's going to create a new tweet. In Microsoft Word, it's going to create a new document. In uh, your browser, Safari, Firefox, Chrome, it's going to create a new window. That command N is going to be a new something in almost every, doc in almost every application that you use. Um, same thing with command C, that's going to be copy in every application you use. Command V is going to be paste. Command X is going to be cut. Um, and these keyboard shortcuts are things that you just need to get used to using. So, let's take a couple of minutes to dig into some of the other keyboard shortcuts in some of the applications that you might use on a fairly consistent basis. Okay, let's start with some of what I will call beginner shortcuts. Um, these are the kind of shortcuts that you're going to want to memorize. Um, they are transferable to almost every app that you're going to use on your computer in, in some, uh, some shape or form. Um, so the first one of those is Command N. Like I said in the introductory video, that one is a new something. That depends on the app, but you're always going to get a new something. So, I've got my Twitter app up, and if I hit Command N, up pops a new tweet box. Okay, so in Twitter, Command N is going to give us a new tweet. You can see the same thing applies in Evernote. Evernote's another app that I use a lot. I'll get into that one in a future video, but Command N creates a new note. You can see Untitled Note has been created there. If I were in my email, I just happen to use the app Sparrow, Command N is going to give me a new email message. That leads right into Command W. Command W is going to close whatever that frontmost um, thing is on your application. So Command W is going to close that message. So again, same idea throughout all these apps. You've seen that in Twitter, in Evernote, and in Sparrow, Command N creates a new, and Command W then closes it. Along similar lines, Command Q is going to be a shortcut you're going to want to memorize. The Q stands for quit. So in any app that you're in, Command Q is going to quit that application. So if I hit Command Q here, it'll close my email. I'm on Twitter now, so Command Q is going to close Twitter. Same thing if I'm on Evernote, Command Q is going to close Evernote. Some of the beginner shortcuts that you're going to want to memorize for working with text are Command C to copy. So if I select some text, Command C is going to copy that text. Then if I move down, Command V will paste that text. But as you can see, it just made a copy, obviously, of the text that, um, that I've pasted. So now I have two copies of that same exact text on my page. Sometimes I don't want that. Sometimes let's say I want to move these around. Let's say I want to move uh, this piece of text above the top piece of text. Command X is going to cut that text out. So now it's not there anymore, but it's on my clipboard. So if I get rid of these lines and I move this one down, I can now paste that original line up at the top. So instead of having two copies of that line, I've now moved it from below to above.
One of the most important keyboard shortcuts that you can memorize is Command Z. Command Z is undo. Especially working with text, but also with almost anything that you do, moving files, creating folders, that kind of stuff, you can also undo with Command Z. So, let's take this for an example. Um, I've got this line of text here, and I'm going to delete that line of text. Now if I hit Command Z, it pulls that line right back up. Same thing if I do a couple of steps. Undo has a decent memory. I don't remember what exactly it is, but it's got a good memory. So if I cut this, move this, um, take this down, paste it in here. Now I decide I don't want it there. I want it back where it originally was. Command Z will move all of that stuff for me and undo it all to get me back where I started.